Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Space 1999 episode 10. This is called Black Sun. That sounds great. I hope you're all doing really well. If you are new here, my name is Mary Claire. Thank you so much for joining me. I really, really appreciate it on this Space 1999 journey. I'm still getting used to saying that because when I save the video, like say when I've normally when I've edited the full length, I keep saving it as Space 1992 because my brain just automatically writes my year of birth. So I need to... I just feel like Space 1999 isn't like a natural rolling off the tongue year. So I need to get used to that. But that's completely irrelevant to you on this gloomy Friday. Oh my gosh, it's the 1st of March. <gasps> Happy March. Oh my gosh, how exciting. Right. Let's see what's going to happen. As I said last time, anything happens. Um, what am I hoping for? Hmm, probably just like some more cool space shots because <laughs> I'm very impressed with it. David, have you got those figures yet? Yeah? They're sized asteroid. There's nothing to worry about. Mm. Famous last nice. words. <laughs> Estimate the damage potential just in case. There's no need to fall. It's not going to collide. Just in case. Hit point impact area. What's the problem, John? An asteroid. Come on, the Cody. Collision course reaffirmed. Impact area alpha. So he must be thinking. Can I just have a break? <laughs> on maximum power I should be all right what's the problem alpha is headed right into this thing commander we have to find out what it is okay fair point switching on anti-gravity screens to full power Sandra right here Michael don't go away I'll be right back I will be waiting Marlon's anti-gravity screens the needle's still in the red confirm commander John! Abort, Mike! Abort! Pull out! Pull out, Mike! You're heading right into it! Fast to come out of there! Full power! Full power! Get him out, Adam. He's accelerating. They're going to keep losing their ships if they're not careful. Oh, Sandra. Mm. As you know, these eight anti-gravity towers stabilize our gravity here inside Alpha. And we're going to use them to create an entirely new force field effect. By linking and cross-linking the anti-gravity screens in each of the towers, the force field will look Something like this. It's insane. But it's all you've got. Full power, Paul. Switching to full power. Mmm. That's very nice. It is beautiful. Like fish scales. We can cut through fish scales. Great. Call medical. 
I didn't think you were allowed to touch someone straight after they'd been electrocuted. That's fair. The men. Astronaut Alan Carter. If you're careful, you have supplies enough for five weeks. If there's anything out there that can help you, then together, you'll find it. If not, Thing is, I don't know who's got the better deal there because going off like the six of them, they've got to find a base, like they've got to find a whole new place to live. That's a really clever angle. How is it affecting them? I thought they went in the opposite direction. Oh, 
So that force guided them back. Bizarre. Episode could very well have been a finale. Would I have been happy that we had no resolution? Potentially. But you could literally take that and put that as the finale. You think everyone's going to die, they survive, and they just carry on in their journey. Um, so I think it's very interesting that we're on episode 10 and we've had an episode like that because we've had moments before where they think they're going to pass away, you know, they don't think they're going to make it that was just on another level and we had some really really lovely moments between victor and john and uh paul and sandra and i don't know it just felt very different maybe it was done in a way to really solidify our feelings towards these characters and them as a unit whatever <sighs> thing is it is space right but there is like unworldly stuff going on because something got them through that black hole like that voice who was that voice black hole black sun and something brought that eagle back to be with them if someone could just confirm when they went past the black sun are they now in a different like a different part of the universe. Someone could just explain that science for me. But I I actually really enjoyed it. It definitely had a slower pace. But I I wasn't I wasn't mad about it. Again, it comes back to the the same thing with Blake 7. You could have an episode on the Liberator and I was fine because we've got strong enough cast and generally the story was strong enough. And that's how I feel with that story. It the, the actors we've got on board are so strong. I don't need these like funny alien creatures. If anything, sometimes I think it makes the show a bit of a gimmick. The core of the show there is why I love it. And I'm very happy. Also, Paul plays the guitar as if I didn't think I could love him anymore, you know? Yeah, I really, really liked that episode. Let me know your thoughts. If you're able to answer any of my questions, as per usual, I'm always very, very grateful. I want to look up these actors so badly, but I can't because I will see a spoiler. Yes, um, I will see you. I will see you next week for episode 11. Bye.